Welcome to the Quick Start Tutorial for Archiver by Ocean Systems. This tutorial will give you a quick start overview of the Archiver program by showing you how easily it is to archive an AVID project. So let's get started. First, launch the Archiver program by double clicking on the Archiver icon located on your desktop. After the interface appears, locate the project you want to archive from the Projects window located on the left side of the interface. To select a project, simply double left click on the project name. Selecting a project displays the file information in the Archiver Content window located in the top center of the interface. Next, if you have any miscellaneous files you've created outside of your AVID project, such as notes, verification reports, case reports, or scripts, you can add them as part of your Archiver file. To do this, Locate the file or files you want to add. Then, using your mouse, drag and drop them anywhere under the Archiver Content window. You will see these files appear under the Miscellaneous Files section, located in the center portion of the interface. The next step is to select the Archive and Post Archive options. To do this, select the green Archive button located at the bottom of the interface. This opens the next interface of the Archiver program, and it's where you'll make your pre- and post-archive selections. When the interface appears, you can add additional descriptions or comments about the Archiver file itself in the Information Descriptions area, located under the project's name. Then, select the Archive options you want. These are located in the left center of the interface. Selecting the Burn a Copy to Disk option expands the interface window giving you more burn to disk options. But before we talk about that, let's focus on some of the other options first. By default, the MD5 hash option is selected. Leaving this option checked will embed a comprehensive hash report for each individual file into the archiver file itself. This includes any of your drag and drop files you've added as well. The hash report itself is stored into the archiver file and becomes available when you restore the project. If hashing the project itself is not important, simply uncheck the box. Not selecting the hash option will also speed up the time it takes to archive your project, which could be important when working with large files. You can also include the original source files as part of your archiver file too, by simply selecting that option. This option is discussed further in the product guide. Just select F1 to open the product guide. As I said earlier, selecting the Burn a Copy to Disk option expands the interface and provides you with several burning options for archiving your project. It also enables the Delete Archive File on Success option. If you are archiving your project to a disk and want to remove it from your system after it is successfully archived, then select this option. If you do not select this option, the project will remain on your system even though you've archived it to a disk. Now there are a few more simple but important features about the Archiver program you'll need to know about when burning a project to disk or saving it to a drive. In order to burn a disk, you must first create an Archiver destination. To do this, select the Browse button and choose the location. This will create a temporary cache location for the Archiver file. Once the project is successfully burned to a disk, the file is automatically deleted. If you want to archive the file to disk and save it to a drive location at the same time, simply uncheck the Delete Archive File on Success option. Now, let's take a moment and discuss the burning to disk features. As you can see, you have several disk options to choose from when burning to a disk. Depending on the file's size and the options you selected, a disk count will show the number of disks required. If the burn requires more than one disk, the Archiver program will span the files across multiple disks. Next, select the Post Archive options and your project is ready to archive. Whether you're burning to disk or saving the project to a drive location, you will still have to decide which post archival options you want to occur once the file is successfully archived. Depending on which option or options you've selected, a pop-up screen will appear when you select the OK button. This is to ensure you've made the right selection based on the purpose of your archive. Archiver will begin to compile the files together and display a window telling you that your project has been successfully saved to disk. That's it. Your AVID project is archived. 